We're closed. You always hit the bottle this early in the day, Reverend. Who are you? You don't remember me? Hmm? I came to see you at your revival tent, January of 95. Looks like you gave that up. Mid-80s, you were still with the Tuttle Ministry then. What do you know about a Tuttle organization was set up to finance rural schools? It was called Will Springs. It was an evangelical initiative to provide religious education as an alternative to public schooling in rural communities. And part of the reason there were so many dropouts in the state, a lot of kids had to bus an hour or more. You know about that school on Pelican Island? I don't know it's specific. But there was one in 1988, accusations of children being interfered with. I never found anything on that. It was, it was kept internal, I think. Maybe it was nothing, maybe people was paid. It's got nothing to do with me, mind you. I was going to school in Baton Rouge gossip around the seminary, but we didn't give credence to rumors. Why'd you leave? Bureaucracy. Politics. Don't lie to me. Why'd you leave? Part of our lay duties was custodial. One night, cleaning the senior minister's library, I knocked over a very old volume, The Letters of Telios de Lorca, 12th century Franciscan mystic, very obscure. When I picked up the book, this little folder falls out. Little folder of pictures. Pictures of children. Naked. Looked like they were sleeping. What'd you do? I took it over to the morals officer, Deacon Farrar. He was close with Tuttle, vice president of college. They didn't do nothing. He seemed you know, angry that I brought it to him. He even intimated that maybe I was confessing to something. I had to prove to him that I wasn't. He promised to look into it. I'd left by the time Wellspring shut down. Why'd you quit the revival? Our last two tents vandalized. I lost heart. A little too much of this. All my life, I want to be near to God. And the only nearness? Silence. 